What's up everybody, this is Danny and today we're doing the best smart home of CES 2024. There's a lot to look at back there, but I looked at everything and this is the best of the best here at CES 2024. Let's do it. When I heard about it, I had to check out the first smart lock with facial recognition. This is the Lockley Visage, and this has all of the features from their latest flagship lock like Pin Genie, offline access codes, fingerprint scanner, and more. But here you can see the large cluster that enables the facial recognition for secure entry. The team explained that it would go beyond 2D and there will be multiple factors that are looked into to make sure that it can't be fooled by a picture. Details on exactly how this works will be revealed later. But what I appreciated is there is multi-step authentication that could be enabled as well through the app where you can use a combination of fingerprint and facial recognition. So with home key and matter support, this could be the most secure lock that's available this summer. Philips had a smart lock that had palm recognition, which I think is even easier to use. I know in some parts of Asia and other countries, they are already doing this for payment authentication. So these two offerings could bring something fresh to your smart home in 2024. Next, I stopped at the channel sponsor Narwhal's booth to check out what's new in their smart home lineup. And I know what some of you are saying, it's just another robot vacuum, but hear me out. There are some incredible features that are coming that you need to know about. The new Freo X Ultra has all of the flagship features that you would want in a robot vacuum but it fixes a major problem that everyone struggles with and that is tangled hair in the brush. The Freo X Ultra's brush is re-engineered with a floating design so it sucks up long strands of hair and even clumps of hair with zero issues and this was just mind-blowing to see so pet owners get excited. I think this feature alone is worth upgrading because I'm constantly cutting hair from the end of the brushes weekly. The suction is also in line with the industry's best. The demo showed just how strong this suction is so I can't wait to try this out at home. I also like the shape of the mops. They are triangular in shape because it leaves less space in between the two mops for a better clean, especially on the edges. The downward pressure on the mops are some of the best in the business, and the triple laser navigation with the side laser really steps up the obstacle avoidance, and look at how close it gets to the furniture. The accuracy is impressive. I love the clean design on the all-in-one base with a very convenient touch panel that makes it super easy to use, and it features a clean and dirty water tank and self-cleaning everything, including the base station. But this year, Narwhal is switching it up with a new seven-week self-contained dust bag. Every time it docks, you can see that it compresses the dirt to make it last longer. Narwhal states that this is better for bacteria since this is self-contained and keeps it odorless and lasts just as long, so I'll follow up when I get one in. And the mop system gets an upgrade as well where it's going to mop until it's clean it just doesn't go back every 10 or 20 minutes like you schedule it on the app to clean the mop it actually analyzes the color of the water and dirt particles so the sensor knows when the floors are clean and doesn't stop until it gets it right so these upgrades are legit i was really impressed with the narwhal s10 pro cordless wet and dry vacuum i watched them throw ketchup all over the floor and mix that with some dry goods and i can't believe how good this worked i really really need this one at home and with a separate dry and wet canister and a self-cleaning dock the combo of these two will give you the best cleaning tech in 2024 so to check out more info on narwhal's products pricing and availability make sure you check the link below i can't wait to get mine in for some real world testing I had to check out what Samsung had for smart home. They actually had a demo of Bali. This is the smart home robot assistant that got a facelift. It has a built-in projector to display relevant information like your calendar and even project your workout while keeping track of your fitness stats, control your smart home, order things for you and make phone calls, you name it. I got to see a demo of this and it actually looked really promising and it's supposedly going to be released later this year. So let's see if Samsung delivers. They also announced the music frame if you want a speaker that does doesn't look like a speaker and want an alternative to Ikea and Sonos, this looks great. And the thing that I didn't expect is the collaboration they have with SmartThings and Tesla. If you have a power wall and solar panels, this now is integrated into SmartThings so you'll get notifications on your Samsung Smart TV. AI now initiates automatic power wall charging if there's a storm coming in and use off-grid power accordingly and you can keep track of all that power usage, which is fantastic. So Tesla fans with power walls and solar might want to check this out. 
I have to say SmartThings integration has been lacking in the last couple of years, but looks like Samsung is expanding more partners. So this is great to see. A couple of new kitchen products, which looked incredible, like their new induction stove, no buttons, just a center touchscreen. I'm not sure if everybody's gonna like that, but it looks really clean. Now there's a high-end model where you can just place the pan anywhere because the coils are all throughout the surface. I'm sure this will be seen in some high-end homes when it releases because it looks amazing. They also announced a new combo washer and dryer that looks sleek, but this one has a heat pump built in so that should help with performance tremendously. This has a touchscreen built in as well and it shows you all of the information that you need with your wash and dry cycles so that is convenient but also looks like you can get all of the goodness from the family hub here with notifications, phone calls and more so yeah you can take a call from your washer and dryer. Tech is wild. Food tech itself made a huge splash at CES 2024, and I think the star of the show was the cold snap. Think of this as a Keurig for instant ice cream. There are canisters of different flavors that you just pour into the top, and you get ice cream, I believe, within a few minutes, which is cool. I definitely want one of these. Automated machines for food was something that I saw a lot of at the show, from vending machines that quickly made Korean comfort dishes, instant boba tea machines, and more. The one that really caught my eyes is automatic stir fry machine. It had a screen where it steps you through the ingredients that you need and even timing of exactly how long these ingredients needed to cook before placing in your next ingredient. All of the temperature and cooking method is fully automated so you can't mess it up and even the amount of sauce is automated in this dish so there is no guessing. The end product looked pretty legit and even though this is probably designed for more commercial purposes something scaled down like this would be awesome at home. AI is the buzzword for everything, but does it belong on your mattress? I saw a CES 2024 award on this one, so I had to check it out. The T11 Pro mattress, pro even on a mattress now, analyzes your body as soon as you lay down and adjusts everything in real time from head to toe, including pressure points. And what's different about this is that this is continually adjusting for comfort. So even if you move sometimes or just toss and turn all night, this aims to give you the best sleep that you can get. I got to try it out and I got to feel the real time adjustment while watching the live data and it was an interesting feeling. It even captures your vitals and lets you know through the app how well you are sleeping and it can adjust with the data that you get for more rest which is interesting. They even had self-adjusting pillows. This one is an anti-snoring pillow, which I think my wife would spend any amount of money on if it gets me to stop snoring. This pillow adjusts positioning throughout the night when you are snoring, so all of this looked promising for quality sleep and sleep monitoring. I do like to go to the lower levels of the San Expo, which houses a lot of startups, and that's where you find some interesting stuff. Samsung had a C-Lab section down in Eureka Park, and I got to see a really cool smart film that can go from clear to translucent to privacy with just a click of a button. This film can be used for displays, car windows, and even home windows, so this is something that I would love for my home. Automations would be so cool with this. You might have heard of this one before because it's been on Shark Tank, but Woosh is a smart air filter for your central air system. With the sensors that are built into this housing, it keeps track of how dirty the air filter actually is, so you only change the air filter when it actually needs to be changed. The filter is easy to change when you need it and can connect to smart thermostats like Ecobee and Honeywell to monitor air quality as well, so I want to get one of these in to try. This is available to buy now actually. This is not technically smart home, but it's so smart in the way that it works. This air purifier works purely off of moss, which is the way that it works in nature. There is a LED light inside, and this is a self-sustained system. There is a water tank at the bottom, and the filter is made of moss, which can last up to six years, but if you need to replace this, this is only $10. And there are some holes for air intakes at the bottom to let air in, and that converts the air to clean air and also works as a humidifier, which is super cool. When you need to maintain the moss to keep it healthy, all you have to do move this little metal marble and cover the exhaust port and the mist goes inside of the canister so the moss will be happy and then when you're ready again for humidification and air purification just remove it and that's it. So this is one of the coolest products that I've seen here and just a little over $100 when it goes on sale in February or March time. I think this is really cool. Cusco had a cool smart home mailbox system that they were showing off. Delivery carriers can scan a code that's on the label that has all of the info that it needs and then it opens up the box so it won't get stolen and all you need to do is generate a QR code on the app for the box that will open it and you can also share that QR code as well. Really simple and I like the idea of this. 
I went back upstairs to make one last sweep and Kohler of course always does it big. They were showing off their brand new smart shower system that can pump scents throughout while you're showering so this thing does it all. The Numi 2.0 is an automated $10,000 smart toilet that can do everything including playing calming sounds while you're doing your business. Of course it has all the high end bidet tech built in, smart scheduling to keep that seat warm and so much more but hey RGB just puts it over the top. Overkill yes but that doesn't stop me from wanting it. The effervescence bath was so cool to see, the scent coming from it was beautiful and the spillover design was incredible. I know this isn't for the average home but the push in design is something that Kohler does so well and even though this might not be for me, the formation G1 faucet is basically a work of art and I can't believe this is a faucet. I think my favorite though was the infinity edge bath. This is the same principle as the infinity edge pool but just in your bathroom and yes this is meant to be a showpiece but this is what smart bathroom dreams are made of but let's talk about a bathroom product we can actually afford and they did show off a new hand shower device that you can change the heads on which is cool the body massager attachment looked like it could be interesting and they also showed add-on bidet options which were shown at the booth so this gives me a lot of ideas for my bathroom remodel which is going to happen this year so stay tuned for a tour of that all right so that's about it i hope you found something that you liked here let me know are you excited about the new smart home products is it kind of the same stuff let me know what you think Thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I'm signing out from CES 2024, and I'll see you guys in the next one.